it's been almost 24 hours and I'm using iOS 18.3 developer beta 3 on this iPhone and it's time to talk about how 24 hours went it's time to talk about the battery life and time to share a kick pass score that is one of the best without a doubt so without any further delay let's get jump into this video and find out how the battery performed for the very first 24 hours important disclaimer it's just 24 hours that this update is out as i was always take a couple of time to get stable so this is not like final sort of review this is just a first impression so going into the setting let the battery stats load over here and over here first of all we will see the battery draining sheet over here as you can see from here i stopped using my phone and over here i picked my phone again and it's a uh, pretty much a line it's slightly like going down maybe like a couple of percent um going down overnight and that is fine so so no sign of huge battery draining as it is a slightly a uh, bend line so that is fine no sign of battery draining over here this is the day when i used my phone as you can see i used around 75 percent of this device and i got almost six hours of screen on time now during this time i used tiktok instagram geekbench youtube spotify whatsapp and some other applications as you can see so for the very first day and for the 75 percent it's a decent screen on time now yesterday i was using beta 2 and it's pretty much the same usage and over here as you can see i was getting a better screen on time so i still believe that like, after a couple of days this will get better for sure and i will definitely share a three-day review with you guys so make sure to subscribe the channel for the, that video now it's time to move forward it's time to look how the geekbench performed for the very first 24 hours so over here in the geekbench app cpu benchmark over here now this is the test which i read right after updating to 18.3 beta 3 2374 on a single core while 5992 on a multi-core and this multi-core score is the highest ever score i get on this update or any ios 18 update it is 5992 which is insane now over here as you can see the difference between the score of 18.3 beta 3 and the average iphone 14 i'm getting decent score which is very nice after using the device for a couple of hours i tested the I tested it again and you can see this is something I got this time it is slightly lower but still numbers are really good over here now if I go to the GPU benchmark over here and show you the GPU history this is the test of 18.3 uh, beta 3 21415 and if you compare this with the average one it is like 1200 points extra which is a good sign so overall on paper performance seems really good and throughout the usage i use it for like 24 hours throughout the usage it's a really nice device so everything is working fine for me how is the update is performing for you guys let me know in the comment section below and if you have any sort of question related to this update you can also drop down in the comment section below this was just a small simple video i just wanted to talk about the how the 18.3 beta 3 went for the very first 24 hours after installing the update i will be bringing more videos regarding this so make sure to subscribe the channel so yeah this is all from this video and i will catch you guys in my next video very very soon i'll do that take care peace out